What's up, Doombots? Tony Scangili here with a character spotlight video. Today we're going to be talking about Ariel. Ariel, also known as the Little Mermaid from the movie The Little Mermaid, uh, can be seen wielding uh, King Triton's trident uh, and is one of the first characters, at least as of the beta, that you unlock uh, as you play the game. Uh, basically given to you for free for starting up. Uh, and she's kind of an all-around animal in the beginning stages of the game. She has pretty decent damage, she has a team-wide heal, and uh, she kind of scales relatively well, especially as a starting character, uh, with the ability to kind of lean into her and never really regret any uh, time, effort, or investment you put into her. Let's take a quick look at her tags. We'll see that she is a hero character, a support role, oceanic uh, location, and Little Mermaid being her affiliation tag, like the movie or whatever. And you'll see that these kind of play in. Uh, and you can see some stats that I have at my gear tier 4, 4 star Ariel. They're going to look roughly the same for everybody. If you get a character to level 40, 4 star gear tier 4, they will look the same numbers and that's pretty good because you can kind of scale up and down from where your character is to determine how useful they are. Something that I just want to note is she has a uh, high recovery stat which is what's allowing her heal to uh, do more and if you notice her heal isn't great you're gonna have to up the recovery but let's get into it let's look at her abilities. Uh, her first ability called Trident Strike it's a basic you can use this pretty much anytime there's no cooldown uh, it does an amount of damage to a target, but any other targets that have slow will take damage as well. So you want to use this attack uh, on any target that does not have slow to make sure it hits as many characters as possible. Uh, her second ability, Medicinal Melody, is kind of not describing what it does very well. And we're going to have some gameplay footage at the end just so you can see and, and get an idea of what the abilities do. Uh, it says Restore green number the numbers change as your character grows uh health to each teammate that's not a hundred percent true the way it actually works is it heals f everyone five times for that number divided by five and that the reason that's relevant is each individual heal has a chance to crit and heal for more very relevant uh, and i kind of wish the text on this uh, displayed that but ultimately she's a free character that you'll know immediately uh, this is a little bit less accurate but either way it can be a very big heal depending on how high powered she is and how much health everyone else in your team has her third ability electric current uh, this is it's marked as a special but we've taken to calling these the ultimate attack these are the usual the third ability that a character has uh, and it tends to be kind of like the best thing they do for the most part. Now her ultimate attack uh, is a very big chunk of damage that removes all positive or helpful effects from the target. Uh, additionally, any positive effects that were previously on the target increase the amount of damage. So if you're stuck behind a pesky taunt character, uh, with a couple of other abilities like defense up this attack not only can clear those but do a little bit of extra damage uh, in the process very strong ability and in, in the early game you will see that it's pretty much a save for a really important target because of one not only how much damage it does but two it uh, you may notice it has four little yellow boxes above the symbol that's the magic requirement for the ability and when it's done you have to wait that many turns before you can use it again so you really don't want it to be on cooldown when you need it so save it for the characters you need to eliminate in the target fights or the buffs you need to get rid of next we have her passive now her passive also has a cooldown attached to it you can see by the yellow the five yellow dots uh, on turn she gives a random teammate a buff called Triton's Boon. This buff is very simple, 30% offense up, 30% speed meter increase, and whenever that character deals damage, the target gains slow for two turns. Obviously that kind of works with her basic by allowing you to hit somebody else and still do damage to that target, and it, if it goes on the right person, it can be a huge damage boost. The problem is you really don't control it, and it has a very long cooldown, so 
by the time it actually does trigger and give one of your characters a huge boost, it takes a little bit before it happens again. Usually fights don't last that long, so it's not something I would expect to see more than once, but it is a nice bonus when it happens. The last ability uh, Ariel has, and kind of one of the reasons why it's important to do a character spotlight on her specifically, since she's one of the first characters you get, is her leadership ability. Now, leadership abilities are unique. Not every character has them, and they basically buff something, whether it be a specific type of character, as we discussed earlier, like hero or villain or a character from a specific movie, like Lion King or Little Mermaid, or basically anything. In her case, as long as they're on her team, they get the benefit of her buff. Her buff does not unlock until gear tier 4, but it is a flat 8% maximum health, which means any character that you put on the team with Ariel when she is in the leadership role just has more health. And that's going to help you both in the early game so you can kind of survive through some of the fights, as well as into the end game where, let's face it, everyone getting a little bit extra health might be a big deal. Now, does it make her amazing? Not particularly, but it's just a good all-around ability. And since you've already started with her, you're not going to really regret any time you use her. So, overall, strong setup for Ariel. I just want to get in some gameplay footage and kind of just show off a little bit of the moves. I don't really think I need to talk about them, so I'll let you see them. I'll slow it down for you. We'll fast forward through everything that isn't her, and I'll obviously put together a team that kind of showcases her strength and rest of the guys I have laying around. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be doing character spotlights more and more frequently as we get closer to global launch. Keep in mind the most important thing. These are characters that are currently in the beta. They may change, so I may have to do an update of this video, and I will label that accordingly. Uh, and this character may change during the beta. Either way, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli, and I'll catch you later.